Hi, Broken Arrow. I'm Timothy Robbins, the Water Utilities Director for the City of Broken Arrow. My team and I oversee the city's public water system, which includes the Verdigree River Water Treatment Plant that produces up to 30 million gallons a day of safe drinking water. Six tanks that can store up to 11 million gallons of treated water and more than 670 miles of underground lines that deliver water to the 39,000 customer water meters in the city. Back in the spring of 2023, our department began working to identify the type of materials of our water lines. I am happy to report that there are no lead lines in our public water system. The EPA has required every public water service provider to create and maintain an inventory of the materials that make up the public and private water service lines by October of 2024. Our inventory database met the EPA's deadline and is available on the city website for you to review. I'll come back to the Lead Safe Community Database in a minute. As I said earlier, the public water lines do not include any that are made of lead. We have identified approximately 29,000 private service lines that are made of unknown materials. It is important to note it is possible, but highly unlikely, the unknown materials of these private service lines are lead. The use of lead in water lines was banned by the federal government in 1987. Therefore, any housing unit constructed in the last 37 years would not have lead pipes for the delivery of water from the meter to the home. To better illustrate what public service lines and private service lines are, check out this graphic. The blue water main and the public service lines are part of the city's responsibility to maintain. These are part of the 670 miles of underground line that I talked about earlier. Treated water flows through the water mains into the public service lines and from there into the water meter assembly. The meter assembly is maintained by the city and as you know, the meter is how we measure the water used by each customer each month. The gold pipe in the graphic represents the private service lines that deliver the water to the home. But the first few fittings within the meter assembly that connects the meter to the private service line do belong to the city. Our utility crews may not work on any part of the private service line after this point on your side of the meter. Private service lines are the responsibility of the homeowner Therefore, we encourage you to reach out to a licensed plumber for help with your line. So how do you know the material makeup of your private service line? Another requirement of the EPA is to notify our customers of service lines that are made of galvanized iron and unknown materials. We have begun the process of sending these notification letters out to our customers. You should receive letters like this with your next bill. Again, I want to reiterate, it is unlikely that any of these lines identified as unknown materials are made of lead. We have also mailed separate letters to 41 customers with homes that have been identified to have galvanized iron lines connected to the city meter. Galvanized iron pipes are made of iron or steel and are coated to prevent corrosion and rusting. In some situations, these could have been used downstream of a lead service line or connections. Galvanized iron pipes could absorb lead and release it over time. Again, there are no lead pipes in our system and we are working on a plan to replace the 41 remaining galvanized iron lines that are on the city's responsibility side of the meter. We strongly recommend homeowners replace their service line side as soon as possible. Now let's get back to the Lead Safe Community Database on the city's website in the Water Utilities section. This is a user-friendly interactive map for you to easily find your house and learn what material of pipe is on the public utility side and your side of the meter. But first, let's talk about the legend and what the colors represent. Red indicates lead, yellow indicates galvanized iron, gray indicates unknown material, and the blue indicates no lead and no galvanized iron. When you zoom in on the map, you will begin seeing the colors populate the map. To find your home, the search bar is in the bottom right corner. 
Start typing and you will see the addresses begin to auto-populate the results. Click on your address and the map will navigate to your location. Again, the left side of the dot represents the public or city side and the right side of the dot represents the private or the customer side. Like I said, we have mailed letters to the homes in which galvanized iron is used on the public side of the meter and we will be replacing that line soon. If your home has galvanized iron on your side of the meter, it is recommended that you replace your private service line as soon as possible. Again, because I cannot stress this enough, there are no lead pipes in our distribution system. But I can understand how this information may cause you some concern or you may want to do some research. We created a web page that includes answers to frequently asked questions and links to the EPA's website for more information. You may also contact the Water Utilities Department at 918-259-8373 or by email at cobautilities at brokenarrowok.gov. We are more than happy to help answer any questions you may have. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and learning more about what we are doing to meet and exceed the EPA's requirements to provide you with high quality, safe drinking water.